Uh, oh, hi everyone. Welcome back to my channel. Today, oh my god, I feel like I need to make a fucking my own channel just for lip swatching, but I'm back again with more lip swatches. Another brand came out with a brand new liquid lip hybrid formula, and you know this bitch had to try them out real quick. So, of course, you guys hopefully by now know Giorgio Armani has amazing beauty products. Not to sound like QVC, but their foundation I've been using for two years straight now, and I am obsessed with this one. And um, I'm excited today because guess what? Giorgio Armani just put out new liquid lipsticks called Lip Magnets. I feel like this is my Harry Potter highlighting wand. Okay, anyway. Oh, okay. So they put out new liquid lipsticks and they are called Lip Magnets. Now they look a little something like this. They are really cute. I love the packaging. I love that red plastic at the top. Now I'm gonna give you guys a little, uh, I'm gonna give you a little facts about this brand and this product. So it comes in a unicarton that looks like this, very standard for their brand. It's black with silver foil, love it. Now when I saw that they were coming out with the liquid lip, I was like, oh, another brand. Okay, I'm down. I can't wait to see what um, like what the formula is because you guys know it's either a fucking banger or it's a dud. Now these are all at Sephora, so I got six shades, and this basically says that it is a second skin, intense matte color. Now I was wondering why they were called lip magnets. You guys know I've used the skincare and the face masks that came off with the little magnet, but these do not have magnetic technology or not to my knowledge. Um, and the packaging screws on like so with the little G. Um, love their little logo. So it just comes out like this. Ooh. Oh, and it has that really thin like it's a really short wand. I'm not that into short wands, but at least the red thing is kind of like fat and thick. So it is probably more easier to apply than if it was really thin. But the applicator, I'm like, oh, it's tiny. Let's smell the bitch. Huh, there's not really a fragrance. Now I do have a stuffy nose. It has been windy in California like no other. I'm like, no, this is kind of flavorless, which, okay, holler. So let's do a little breakdown of what this product is. So according to the website, well, first of all, these are $38 each, which I'm like, God damn, I think this is one of the most expensive liquid lips I have ever tried on my channel. And I'm like, oh my God, 38, girl. Of course, you're paying for the Armani designer name. It says that this is a long wear lipstick with eight hour wear and a comfort with a no makeup feel. So this is supposed to be really pigmented, but you're not supposed to feel it, which I love that. So it says that this weightless liquid lip leaves lips with a smudge proof. Okay, so that's good to know. It's already stating that it's not gonna come off and an ultra matte finish. The formula is four times thinner and has twice as much color as a traditional lipstick. I'm like, oh, that's a big statement, girl. And then it also says it delivers eight hour wear and comfort and its unique slim quill applicator design gives ideal precision for a perfect lip contour. All right, this sounds fucking fancy. Um, and it basically says that it's the classic Georgia Armani uh, they're classic shades that, that they've been revamped with the look of tattoo inks. I'm like, hmm. <laughs> all right, honey. Well, I'm about to do all six shades for you guys. And I'm going to talk about what the hell happens when you put on the damn thing. So I guess, you guys, if you want to see uh, if these work or not, and if they're Jeffree Star approved, then keep on watching. All right, so I'm gonna try this little Barbie pink color. It is called Mania. Now the shade names, it's kind of weird, you guys. So on the bottom of the bottle, it just says a number, which a lot of the other products like their powder foundation, it just literally says number two. So I don't mind that, but it's bizarre because on the unit carton on the top, it says all of the shade names. So you see that one says Mania. This one says Vibrato. So this one is called Mania. And I guess let's see what happens, y'all. I'm going to dip in there one more time. We are dipping in a third time. All right, so I'm gonna give you my first impressions. I felt like the applicator was a little too small. It definitely, I think, should be bigger to distribute more product. You guys saw I had to like, I normally have to never dip more than twice for a liquid lip, but with this one, and how like narrow and little it was, I had to dip in there three times to get uh, my entire mouth covered. 
Now I'm noticing that it's a little streaky in some spots. Now remember I put a second layer over the bottom lip after I dipped in twice and then the third one was just for the top of the lip. So it says that it's supposed to be really long lasting so it's been about two minutes so I'm going to take my fingers and lightly the product did come off, not a lot. So. But I do want to make a note that it did come off a tiny, tiny bit. I will say this, the disclaimer of being really lightweight and like no makeup feel, that's definitely the case because I'm like, literally, it feels very thin, very thin. Um, I do think just looking at it, I think it could have more coverage, maybe the shade. Obviously, pigments and, sh and all different color shades are gonna be different, so I guess we're gonna have to try the next one. All right, these came off pretty easy now. I've done a lot of lip swatches this year, and sometimes they are so difficult in between shades to remove, but these ones came off um, pretty effortlessly, so I'm gonna now try Shade of Vibrato. It looks like a brick red, so let's see how the pigment's on this one. Oh. Okay. Is it me or does it look, like the color to me looks better in the bottle than it does on the lip, but let's finish it before I give my final thoughts. All right, this one is done. It is drying down right now. Um, it was a little streaky. I'm looking at the side of my mouth like, uh. Like it's like a little darker on the edges and a little more sheer um, on top. But besides that, no major complaints. I just really had to dunk in a lot again. Um, but let's move on to the next shade. Let's try this, ooh, this, this plum, this dark plum type of color it looks pretty cool. So this one is called Attitude, hi. <laughs> she looks pretty. Let's see what this one looks like. All right, so I'm sure you guys already know I'm about to read this one to fill. This one, not the good, not the greatest one of all. Um, really, really streaky. Now I'm gonna dip in and do another layer as this one is drying down. I can definitely see my lips through it. It's blotchy. I feel like the darker the color, the worse um, the pigment is. But let me do a second layer in the bottom to see what it looks like for fun. Oh wow, going back over it, like, remove the color, like, uh. Okay, definitely do not love this one. Let me try a lighter shade and see what happens. So we're gonna take this one off. All right, now this one, it looks to be like a soft rose coral. It is called Glow. All right, Glow, let's see how you're gonna do, girl. Uh-huh, it's like the lighter the shade, the easier and more pigmented they are. That is so weird. All right, Miss Glow ain't too bad. She's actually one of the best ones from the group so far. Um, now it is a very light shade compared to the ones I've already swatched, but um, it's nice. It was definitely easier to apply, has better um, pigment, and this might be my favorite one so far. <sighs> Let's do the another one. All right, now this shade is called Hollywood. It looks like a neon hot orange, almost looks like my liquid lip Anna Nicole, but very, it's like it has this extra neonness to it. So let's see how she looks. Hmm. All right, I think I've swatched enough to know um, my final thoughts. Um, I think let's just get right to the motherfucking end because this is very hit or miss for me. All right, so I was waiting for this one to be completely dry. This one isn't as bad. Still at the top, I'm seeing some streakiness and just the overall pigment of them. They're not as opaque as I would have imagined. So the claim of being really pigmented, uh, it kind of fell flat for me. I feel like the darker the color, the worse it got. The lighter ones were a lot easier to apply. Now I gotta say the applicator, it's way too short. So my, my hands were definitely not into it. Um, maybe some other people might love that. Now the actual applicator itself, I liked how pointy it was because I could really get into the lip line and make it really precise. 
but I didn't love how flat it was. It didn't hold a lot of pigment, so I had to keep going and dipping over and over to get like full like opacity. Now you guys saw when I layered a few of them like with two layers, it definitely helped the coloring, but I feel like for $38, should you have to swipe twice? I don't think so, bitch, this ain't Tinder. So, I don't know, overall thoughts, I'm having mixed feelings, you guys. I'm like, is this Jeffree Star approved? I don't know, these really remind me of the Chanel ones I swatched um, a couple months ago, and those were worse than these ones. I don't think these are that awful. I think this color looks stunning. Um, not the best, so I'm kind of like, I don't know, what's the, what? Shit! What is the in-between, like, don't love it, don't hate it. It's very lukewarm for me, so I don't know. This is like halfway Jeffree Star approved because I definitely think for the price point, it should have been a little better. I don't know, you guys sound off below and let me know your thoughts on this product. Also, let me know what your favorite shade was and if you wanna pick up a few of these. I don't even know if I recommend these. I feel like there's so many liquid lipsticks on the market. Do you really need this $38 ink? type of liquid lip, I don't know. I feel like I can even go to the drugstore and find a, like a dupe for this that's like similar or even better, honestly. So, <sighs> I don't love these. I feel like I've definitely reviewed a lot of better liquid lipsticks, so you guys let me know your thoughts. But um, it is time for me to, I'm actually, while you're, by the time you're watching this, I will be in Atlanta getting some extreme dental work, um, and then I'm off to Hawaii for the holidays. So I hope wherever you are today, you are having an amazing, morning or night and um, I will see you on the next one. So thank you for watching and mwah. love you guys.